Montreal. It's Sunday, which means, wait for it, Ask Susan Sunday Live, the place to be every Sunday for all your questions. Today we are talking about are you suffering from choice fatigue or choice fatigue and uh, some tools to actually change it. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, how's it going? I think I'm going to move my chair here. Oh, it's less messy. Okay, cool. Yay. Uh, we're going to wait for the algorithms to let people know we are live. And uh, happy Sunday to you, Kimberly. Hey, Patricia. Welcome, welcome. The gang's all here. Love it, love it. Uh, we have an international community. Let people know where you're in coming from. Good morning, Patricia. So I had a lot of feedback on this particular topic. Uh, it occurred to me this week, uh, as we are heading into uh, the fifth week of self-isolation, uh, you'll be watching this later, many years later maybe, there was something called coronavirus that had us all, uh, the government's had us in our homes. And uh, a lot of people uh, are at home alone and asking, what the heck, what do I do with this now? Actually, that's why I'm creating, the <laughs> that's so funny, that's why I'm creating the uh, Growing Through Your Relationships in Times of Stress. It, it'll be Wednesday now instead of Monday, so press hashtag I'm in. We're going to have a Zoom call. I want to see you guys so we can really get down and deep with these questions. But that's for Wednesday. Right now, we're talking about all, all hey, Gulshan, we're talking about everything that's been pouring out in terms of choose this, choose this, choose this, choose this, don't choose this, choose this, don't choose this. How many people are actually suffering from choice fatigue? So my question for you is, uh, how much of what's out there is created to actually fatigue you, right? To wear you down to such a degree that you think, yeah, I, I better choose this, I better do this. I better, I better, I better, I better. Oh, we got a big O oh from people. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to show you a few tools today. Hey, Lulu, a few tools today that you can actually use to check in with choice, right? Choice is, we've talked about a lot of that on Ask Susan, right? Choice is. Now, what I see people doing is signing up for things, is choosing things, is, is, is like, yeah, 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 I should be doing that, right? Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Instead of checking in with themselves. So in choosing this, will this add to my life and my living? One of the questions I've been asking is, uh, will I follow through? Cool question, right? Yeah, there are so many free classes out there and, and I'm asking myself, huh, so if I choose this, will I, fo will I actually follow through? So I'm actually choosing to unfollow a lot. I'm choosing to let go of a lot because I'm asking myself what would create the greatest amount of possibilities, right? Choice is, we have a buffet of choices. It doesn't mean you have to choose everything. Patricia, a very cool question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Lulu, uh, mock self-preservation. Yes, actually. At washing me down, shoulda, woulda, coulda, wearing me down. Absolutely. You to go to sleep and it's like, oh, this, they said, sign up right now and do this right now. And oh, I got to choose it right now. Notice that, hi Rita, notice that there is a, a scarcity mindset out there, right? Uh, now, now is the time to actually take an aerial view of what you are doing, how you are doing, where you are doing, who you are doing with, what you are creating, what you are generating, right? And be with it and ask which one of these is tugging at me and choose it, right? Now, what the other thing that I tend to do, uh, which actually works for me, I'll share it with you, is I'll choose something and indulge in the choice, right? So what does that mean? Well, I'm like, huh, so if I choose this, it's not going, it's not saying if I choose this, what will this create and then go on a fantasy? It's like, okay, I'm choosing it. I'm gonna live it right now for this 10 seconds. It's like, huh, actually that doesn't work for me. Actually, that doesn't work for my business. You know, are you willing to indulge with the choice without having to activate it? Okay. Are you, I wish I had been taking notes. I would review the, the tools I've just been giving you. Are you willing to indulge in the choice without having to activate it? Right? So that, it, hey, Rebecca, that, that 
if I choose this, what will this create? Well, indulge in the if, right? Indulge in the if. Like this morning I got up and I was like, oh, uh, oh, it's 6.30, I had a great sleep. I'm like, oh, okay, would I be willing to follow through with my commitment to educate myself every morning with a book? Okay, cool. So I asked the energy, I have two books that I'm reading now, which book will create the greatest amount of possibilities? Oh, I chose the one that popped, right? I opened it up and it was talking about agency, which it has to do with the cause and the effect of everything. Choice, right? So it, it's like, I, I'm willing to be that present. So ch we talk about presence a lot. Choice creates with present, presence is choice. And you don't have to activate it. You have to be willing to ask, huh? So be in the if. So after I, I, I did some reading, I went downstairs and all of a sudden opened the fridge door. Huh? So what would it be like to actually make a soup for the week? Done. Pulled out all the odds and sods of vegetables that were about to turn, made a delicious soup. Hmm. What else, what else could I choose today? Right? It's, it's not what I thought I would be doing when I woke up at 6.30 in the morning. It doesn't matter, right? You, thinking is thinking. Don't buy everything as if it's true or real. Lulu, I love that. Choice buffet. Yeah, been using that often this week. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, presence is choice, Lulu says. Absolutely. So the whole thing about choice fatigue you know, how many of you are saying, oh, I'm just so tired of this. I just don't want to choose anything. Well, that's a choice. <laughs> Funny that, right? That's also a choice. So are you willing to choose what creates the greatest amount of possibilities for your life, your living, your body? Right? When I went upstairs, I, I walked the dog, continue with my day. And I went upstairs and I was about to make the bed and the bed just called me. And I'm like, okay, I could pop into bed. Will it create the greatest amount of possibilities for me right now in this 10 seconds. And I'm like, actually, no. Right. Okay, cool. Choose to make the bed. Cool. Now I'm giving you little examples that see, pr pr oh, I got some hearts on that. That could be uh, mundane for you. I'm a big believer in baby steps, right? When I work with my clients that, you know, some, I say, well, what do we want to create with your business? Oh, a million dollars in three weeks. Well, chop, chop it down, chunk it down. Where do we begin? And that's, that's what I'd like to instill in you today with this Ask Susan is where would you like to begin with your choices, right? Don't decide where this choice is gonna take you. Don't buy people's points of views. It says, you know, learn to write a book in three weeks. You're at home now, take this course. Like if that turns you on, ask yourself, will you follow through? Truth, will I follow through, right? Truth, will this, will this add to, to what I'm creating. Now it could add, like I signed up for something for $11 and I never followed through. And I'm like, wow, that just gave me a whole bunch of information about me and about marketing and about what, what is tugging at me marketing wise. And, and so I, it did add to my business, right? It gave me information about me and where I am. And it, it led to this call we're doing right now. Hey Kelly, welcome, welcome. So this is not a dialogue or monologue, it's a conversation. Come on in with your questions, your comments. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. How many of you are suffering from choice fatigue? I got a great, a great note back from the email that I sent out where I talk about it. And uh, somebody said, yes, that's exactly where I'm at right now. Yeah. And, and the thing is, if you're willing to be present with you, with your body, you know, there's a certain amount of... Um, information out there that says you gotta keep busy, you gotta pivot, you gotta this, you gotta that, you gotta this. There's probably a song in there somewhere. And where's your choice in all of this? Right? You cannot not grow. Growing, we are organic. Growing is who we be, right? It's the willingness to, to actually be with the choices and ask which one of these will create the greatest amount of possibilities. Now, it, it, dollars to donuts, it's gonna turn out totally different than what you thought. Cool. What is it you're asking to create? Be present with that. Be really, really present. Yeah. Kimberly, beautiful day Saturday, making a choice to clean up my backyard. Oh yeah, and I keep choosing 
then I took choice to after to relax and appreciate. Absolutely. And, and that's the whole thing about choice. There's an appreciation in there. Thank you so much, Kimberly, for that. There's an acknowledgement in there. It's like, wow, that's that's your personal leverage. You know, we talk about leverage. We talk about um, being present. That's your personal leverage. Gratitude is your leverage. Right. Hey, Yuri, welcome. Welcome. Gratitude is what is is what keeps you present right and it also sends ripples out for all the choices to come like I was so grateful that I actually put that $11 down and then and sat back and watched myself not even take that you know open those Facebooks I'm I I I had stopped choosing focus and it's not the amount of money, it's the, it gave me such an awareness of how much is out there every time we open our Facebooks or our internet. Pulling, tugging, pulling, tugging, right? Oh, is, is it your job to add to somebody's life and living? Yes or no? What are you choosing? Are you choosing to expand out, right? And part of expanding out is focus, right? Part of expanding out is focus. So when we're when we're given this huge, it's like turning the TV, click, 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 Facebook, sh- scroll, 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 scroll. Listen, do, buy, bump, 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 bump. And it has a rhythm to it. Does that is that the choice that you're making to add to all these other lives and livings? There, that's what they're in the business for. Hey, Cal, welcome. So, how's this? Am I in the right wheelhouse here? There seems to be a lot of uh, uh, information that has come to me with clarity about choice. Now, now is the time to be, be using these tools, to be asking these questions, right? If I choose this, will I follow through? Be in the if. The if is about indulging it just sit back for a minute it's like huh cool be that taste it live it just for 10 seconds and then ask yourself huh so will 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 this add to my life and living will this create more for me and the people on the planet because we don't live alone right yeah uh we we might be in self-isolation but we we are energetic beings yeah lulu um, something put share tools to better feel the pop of choice. I am, will you please share tools to better feel the pop of choice? Ah, okay, cool, Lulu. I get it. I get it. I get it. Choice something and that choice compass and that. Okay. Well, choice compass, let's start over there. You know, a compass has North, South, East, West. It depends where you're heading, babe. Right. Uh, if people are, I love that question, Lulu. If people are trying to reinforce their point of view about how things aren't going to work, that's where their compass will head. Okay? Uh, right now, a lot of people are living together with their kids and their parents. Right now, these kids who would be out there experimenting with ideas are learning and being entrained by their parents' points of view. So they are, are being entrained to a compass that points a certain way. Does, where does your compass point to would be my question. A choice compass has to do with, huh, so will this create the greatest amount of possibilities in, and without a point of view, right? What, what is it that you're asking to create with your life, your living, your body? Write it down, right? Write it down. And then ask which one of these is my priority, which one of these is a false priority, how many of us have been entrained and are being entrained right now to choose false priorities? Right? So when you talk about your camp, your company, oh, I got lots of on that. Uh, depends where you're you're headed to. <laughs> Absolutely. So um, with that, right? With that sense of oh, is is am I pointing my compass to what will create the greatest amount of possibility? Or am I reinforcing my points of views about what something will work or won't work? So that's the thing on the choice compass. 
the other question Lulu had was um, tools to feel better. Uh, sorry, no, I'm wrong. I'm not correct. Tools to feel a pop of choice. Okay, I love that. So, you know, a lot of you may or may not know that I work energetically with bodies, right? I work with the energies of the world. And whether you, whatever you call that, right? It, it's a willingness to be in um, true to the vibration of what creates with and for you. So when I, I'll ask, when I was making a soup today, I lifted the turmeric, and, turmeric up and I asked the soup, yes or no? And I got an energetic no, right? So it, there's a pop there. There's, there's a knowing that you've always known, but it was squashed at a very young age when people asked you for proof. How do you know that? We tend to dismiss ourselves and our knowing. You know, I signed up for a free class, uh, uh, a five-day class on something, and I, I just don't work in that way, right? And I, and I started to, to quote-unquote, feel bad for about 10 seconds, and I'm like, oh, strong talk. Susan, does this actually create more for you, your life, you're living the way that you actually brings you joy? No, okay, bye-bye. Right? The, if you're willing to be present with who you be and what you be and what brings you joy, it's like you take the habit of uh, the entrainment, the habit of doubt, and you exchange it for being present. And that that's the pop, right? And it might turn out totally different. Sometimes when I don't get it, I'll just write to a friend and I'll say A or B. Right? And that friend will connect energetically and they'll go, hey, and I'm like, okay, cool. I don't have to tell them what it is. Uh, it's just like, oh, nothing actually popped for me. So I wonder what that could create. Lulu, tell me, tell me if that assists you at all. I'm just going to lower this light a bit. Um, tell me if that assists you at all. Yeah. Uh, depends where you're headed, baby. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. So, uh, there was something in there too that I wanted to talk about that just popped for me. Uh, yeah, we basically we're taught not to be us. Crazy, right? This deliciousness, who wouldn't want it? Oh well, too bad. They can't take a joke. That's okay. Uh, it, it's it's the willingness to exchange the habit, right, of doubt for the the possibility of something greater right how do we do that we recognize when we're headed somewhere that actually doesn't create greater call it the monkey mind call it a hamster on a wheel call it repeating the same thing over and over again call it whatever you want right <laughs> it if it doesn't work for you and go into the if and indulge it you see how i use if 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 it doesn't work for you that's a great tool when you hear yourself say if indulge the if Indulge it, live it, right? And then choose greater. Yeah. Lulu, yes. Be present with who you be and what you be. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I love that. Any other questions? Anything else popping for people? When something pops, it's just like, ah! And we, we're taught again to ignore it, right? Hey, Teresa. We're taught to ignore what pops, the choices that pop. Because we're told to prove it, validate it, find the statistics. Uh, you know, your mother, brother, sister, aunt, uncle did that and it didn't work for them. Whatever that is, right? So again, that, that has to do with choice fatigue. Well, you should choose it because somebody else did. Really? How's that working for you? Right? You are your own unique yumminess. So I often liken it to you see a garden and you assume, oh, there are flowers in the garden, but each flower requires something different. Some might be bulbs, some might be morning flowers, evening flowers, some might be desert flowers, right? Some might come out in the fall or the spring or the summer. Each one has its own, uh, what needs, it needs to be nurtured by and with. So my question for you, are your choices nurturing you, right? Or are they fatiguing you? Right? Are your choices nurturing you or are they fatiguing you? If they're fatiguing you, take an aerial view, stop the madness, and ask yourself, am I actually focused on what I like to create and how I like to create? When I say like, it doesn't mean like, oh, I really like it. It's more like, 
does it vibrate to who you be and what you be? Fatigue for sure, Kelly said, yeah. So, Kelly, thank you. You just popped in. I started off with a bunch of tools at the top. If anybody's coming in right now, have a re-listen. We've had some juicy nuggets and great questions. And uh, also, uh, if you're listening later, press hashtag replay. You know I love to hear from you all the time I check in. And uh, just a little sidebar. Uh, how many of you are in a relationship that's fatiguing right now? And that could be with your money, your body, your business. Uh, somebody said, well, the court, you know, the class you're giving, Susan, is uh, on growing through relationships. Is it a bit, do you have to be married? Do you have to be with a partner? No, 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 no. You're in relationship with everything, right? So we're going to be talking about growing through relationships in times of stress. Uh, it's something that's popping for a lot of people. I changed the date from Monday to Wednesday. Uh, I was totally hacked on all my passwords. So right now my time has been with that. Uh, and I will get a letter to you. Press hashtag I'm in. And uh, you will all be receiving a gorgeous letter from me um, on Monday. I will ask for your email address if I don't already have it. So pop it in as well. And we'll get that together. Patricia, uh, so interesting the choices we're making during the time of isolation. Choice out of loneliness or desperation to be connected. Yeah. Here's, here's the thing. I love that, Patricia. Thank you so much. We are connected, but we're not taught to actually connect, right? We are connected. We're not taught to connect. So anywhere anyone's buying this reality is true and real, reach out. I mean, Patricia, part of the reason, if you want to call it a reason, that I'm doing this Zoom on Wednesday, change it for Monday, is because I we want to connect with everybody, see some faces, you know, ha have some tools on how to change and shift and how to grow through your relationship with yourself in times of stress. What does that look like for you? What tools uh, can you walk away with that would actually change, change this sense of, oh man, right? I have no choice, which is also suffering from choice because you're choosing I have no choice. Yeah, yeah. One of the things that I've been doing lately is uh, playing with the quantum fields. So, I was getting up at two o'clock every morning and going into another room. I'm aware I'm up. I, I, I'm getting the energy of the satellites. It's like, and it feels a little crunchy around seven o'clock in the morning. I'm not going to lie. Right? So yesterday I was like, okay, I'm going to shift and change it instead of pulling in cause it's a choice, pulling in the awareness of everything that's going on in the world. I'm going to send out right? choice. I'm going to send out, I'm going to tap into to the, the quantum field and actually send out. And all of a sudden I went right back to sleep. I woke up about two hours later. I'm like, no, I'm not pulling in, not tugging. I'm going to send out and play with the quantum fields. And I went right back to sleep. Choice, right? We create a habit. I had a habit of, I'm going to get up at two and I'm going to read and I'm going to do this and pop, 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 pop. And, and all of a sudden my body's like, that's not so much fun anymore. I'm like, cool. What would you like to do? Can we not pull in? Can we expand out and send out from each organ and play in the quantum field? What could that be like? Choice creates awareness, right? Indulge in the choice and see what shifts and change. Take a habit that perhaps was working for you, is not working for you now, choose something different. Indulge the choice. Don't have to act on it, just indulge it. See what that creates for you. I wonder what could change. Okay, uh, any any questions, anything popping for, for you before we close this up? Uh, push the energy rather than pull right now. Uh, it's not pushing the energy, Teresa. It's, 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 it's just sending it out. There's a difference between pushing and uh, uh, being an allowance of that you have this whole mass of energies, like in your heart, your lungs, your liver, every part of your body and being that is connected and allow that, just let it float out like leaves on the top of a river. Right? Yeah. Rather than trying to scoop up all the leaves. Be tidy. Uh, Lulu, 
I find I'm struggling with feeling incapable of showing up the way I want energetically and physically. I have an interesting point of view about what's acceptable. I need to let go to show up properly. Aha, uh -huh. this approve uh, has exhausted me. This, this approval iPod has exhausted me. Well, Lulu, come on over on Wednesday. That's one of the things we're going to be talking about. Thank you so much. Is how many of you are looking for approval of how to be in this reality right now. Right. Uh, flow out. Got it. Yeah. Uh, again, if we're talking about choice, ask yourself again, you know, listen, re-listen to this one again, Lulu. Go to the if. If I choose this, now go to the if and indulge it. Not I'm choosing it. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm choosing focus. There's no if, ends or buts there. I'm choosing focus. I'm choosing commitment. Commitment to me, focusing on what creates the greatest amount of possibilities. It's good. It's always turning out different than I thought. Right? Choice. Choice creates. But I'm indulging it. Like, huh, okay, cool. Yeah. Teresa. I strain from work, working with two computer screens. Ah, have you, do you have computer glasses? I, last year, invested in computer glasses. And it's made all the difference. Right? So you could ask your body, body, show me how to create in a way that actually um, creates total ease for my eyes. Eyes, show me what you create. My, these, these create cleaning right now. <laughs> yeah. So, again... It's not about the problem. The pro it's indulging the if. Yes, that's right. It's not problem is the old habit. What problems do I have that I have to change, fix, clean up, whatever? No. Uh uh. Oh, so if I choose this, if I tidy up my office, what will that create? Indulge the if. Oh, I'm going in and everything's. Like, oh, I've thrown up more stuff. I'm still at it. I've thrown up more stuff, and and all I do is I I take the piece of paper. And I say, huh, so truth, am I going to follow through on this? Like how many of us have PDFs and downloads of stuff? Right? Am I going to really follow through on this? Yes or no? No. Will this bring me joy? Yes or no? And I go with the, it's a pop. I had a book that I hadn't read. I bought it at the bookstore a couple of years ago. It popped and it's sitting on my bookshelf. And as I'm going through my books, asking which one of you will bring me joy, which one of you brings me joy. It doesn't matter if I've read it or not. Choice. Choice creates. I'm choosing this. Right? I indulged it. Oh, yeah, it'd be really cool to get rid of half these books. Less energetic blah, blah, blah coming at me. And this book is the one that I'm reading at 6.30 every morning. It, there's so much joy. It's like, ah, oh, cool. Now, I'm going to, you know, acknowledge and appreciate the choices that I'm making. Wow, I really acknowledge that. That's exactly the information I, I, I require to hear right now. Right? And I'm going to appreciate and acknowledge that I've committed to self-educating for a half an hour every morning and in and, and a quiet read, right? Brings my body joy, brings my, me joy, and creates different in my day. Uh, Teresa says, thank you, computer glasses, Lulu. I'm in, please, for Wednesday. Absolutely, thank you. Uh, for those of you who haven't heard from me, uh, my computer got hacked, so I'm cleaning it up. I will send you a beautiful letter tomorrow and hashtag I'm in if you want to be around when we are and I hope you do when we talk about growing through relationships and times of stress and times of self isolation isolation whatever you want to call that it's going to be Wednesday it's going to be live I want it's about time we all gave each other an energetic hug and talked in person uh, if you can't make it press hashtag I'm in anyway send me your email and I will send you the replay okay no spam not going to send you anything if you haven't asked for it uh, <laughs> Patricia, energetic, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God. That is so true. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Cool. 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 Wow. So grateful for this conversation. It's not going to, again, repeat hashtag. It's not going to turn out the way you decided, right? So everywhere you make a choice, you make a choice, right? It's like making a poop in your pants. Are you committed to this choice? Are you going to commit to this choice five years from now? Three years from now, tomorrow, right? Margo says, hashtag I'm in. Yay, Margo. Teresa, sh um, what book you share what book you're reading. Uh, 
it's it's not in this room sorry i will uh at another time thank you so much uh, i think it's called presence i'm reading two books at once as as is my whim ah it's not it's called sorry it's right it's called resilient i'm reading two books right now uh, breaking the habit of being yourself by dr joe and resilient ah! and resilient right uh thank you for asking the question teresa uh kimberly says i'm in yay kimberly uh I like to read two books at once, three books at once, because I open it up and I just ask, okay, what information is here for me today? Right? Yeah. What information is here for me today? I'm not deciding. I'm choosing and committing to self-educating. Right? I got my t energetic team with me. I'm, I'm asking from a space of space with no point of view. And when I, all of a sudden it's like, oh, yeah, this is what I needed to hear. So what is it that you requiring with your choices. And I'm into Patricia says, cool, cool, cool. What is it that you're requiring with your choices? Have you put a, a, a deadline on your choice? Have you put a, um, a structure to your choice, right? Does that give the, the choice room to breathe? Right? How many of you are suffering from choice fatigue? Because, oh my God, I chose to do this and I was gonna do this and I chose to do that and I chose to do this. It's like, ah, oh, I've been choosing to clean the bathrooms and, and, and do that kind of quote unquote housework in the morning. And I just realized today, became aware of today, that if I took that energy and, and I use that with writing in the morning and creating in the morning, what would that create for me? And I got a big pop. Now I have a habit of getting up, cleaning, organizing. And by the time I get to my work, it's a bit later in the day. And I was asking myself, would you be willing to change it up? What could that create? If you chose, if you changed it up, what could that create? And I got a big, whoa, cool. Choice, choice creates. Yeah, indulge the if. Um, Teresa says, awesome. Lulu says, I'm in. Will you need emails again uh, due to computer cleanup we've been, if we've been receiving them? Uh, I'll go back in to the, um, when did I announce this last Sunday? I'll go back into last Sunday's uh, Ask Susan. I'll go back to the magic I'm in people on Thursday and I will go into the this Sunday's I'm in. So I will write you all and, and uh, I'm gonna ask you for your email uh, be, just to keep things clean, right? And uh, that makes my life easier as I learn to use a Google Doc. Woo! See, choice. What would that add to my life and living? That wasn't the question I asked. I'm like, huh, choosing Google Doc. I'm committing to learning how to use Google Docs. Cool. I wonder what that will create. So commit with your choice and then ask, I wonder. Because it's often we go to I wonder first. And then we're like, oh, and then we go into judgment. And it's like, well, I could choose this. I could choose that. I could choose this. Choose it. Indulge it. And then, oh, I wonder what this will create. It's the energy of joy and excitement and discovery and acknowledgement. Wow, I'm the kind of girl that's going to teach myself how to do this. Awesome. Cool. Uh, anything else popping for people? I'm going to love you and leave you. I love to keep these short and sweet. Thank you so much for the conversation. As always, I am so appreciative of all of you popping in. And uh, I wonder what choices you can let go of. Whose choices you can let go of, <laughs> right? And what could that create? Uh, the thing is, are you willing to ask yourself, is, is this my choice or somebody else's? You know, again, how many of you are suffering from choice fatigue because you're choosing what somebody else is choosing, you're choosing for somebody else, right? Rather than being totally present, would you be willing to be so different that people are like, oh, I'll have what she's choosing and, and, and not make any of it significant. I wonder what that could create. Okay, I adore you all. I will love you and leave you. Uh, Margo says, choice drives you forward. Absolutely. And choice can also drive you backward, which could be forward into your same stuff that you've chosen all the time before. I'll leave you with that one. Uh, appreciative, Lulu says, yay. Teresa says, I need chocolate. <laughs> I love it. Okay, love the hearts, love you guys. Uh, Liboli, 
love greatly and be that fearless leader you came here to be, right? One that's willing to indulge and wonderment and choice and appreciation and gratitude. Gratitude for all of you. Uh, if you're called to work with me deeply, uh, I do work with people and uh, we, we work together for a series of sessions and we actually get through what isn't working for them from stuck to unstoppable. So if you're one of those people, private message me and let's get on a call. Let's see what we can create. Okay, I love you all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Uh, See you Wednesday.